Hello everybody, this is Modamato here once again with more modded Minecraft, Feed the Beast a Monster Pack to be specific, and in this episode we are going to do some messing around with Tinker's Construct, probably, I don't exactly know yet, but, as you can see, it is quite cheap, quite cheap, in fact, 16 ingots of molten bronze from 6 copper ore and 2 tin ore. That's a lot of bronze from that, and that is why I have made these patterns and these casts. This pattern chest, you put it chest, and when you put a blank pattern above it in a crafting table, it gives it to you. It's handy because you can view it while you're in the part builder, so you never really need to transfer these from any chest. You just put them in there, and then put them back, and then boom, they're in the chest, and it's cool like that. So, that is, of course, why I made these patterns. I'm going to get rid of my absolutely crap things. Now, the reason why you can put different tool bindings, different rods, and different pickaxe heads on your stuff is so that you can mix and combine your sort of things to make a superior pickaxe. Because some things last longer, some things mine faster, and some things allow you to have special abilities. Normally, it's the binding that makes it stronger, it's the rod that makes it have special abilities, and the pickaxe head determines the speed. But because of simplicity's sake, I'm just going to make the whole entire thing out of bronze because I'm lazy like that. So, as you can see, you just put a head or a mold or a cast of any sort in here and pour the bronze in it, and it makes a pickaxe head. Sometimes when the tiers are higher, for example, uh, when you get to the better tools, <laughs> I can't really think of an example now, but... When you get to the tools that are past this station right here, like the War Axe or the Lumber Axe, they require a bit more than this. This pickaxe requires three bronze ingots, because obviously I'm just using, you know, the bronze binding, bronze rod, and a bronze head. But normally, a pickaxe like this... Well, not normally... But if I were making, say, a war axe or something, the molds or the casts cost more to fill, so it would probably cost about at least 8 ingots. So as you can see, a modifier has been added to this. It is reinforced 1. That's what bronze comes with by default. Now you can repair these. For example, well no, I'm not going to do that right now because that would require me to do some things that I don't want to do. So I am going to make that. I am going to also make a sword. I'm probably going to feel really stupid about doing this, considering that I'm using a ton of bronze on this, that I probably shouldn't be using on this, but I'm going to make an axe and a shovel out of bronze, and waste all of it, because that's my specialty. And an axe. So it's a hatchet, whatever, same thing. So, that means that I can finally get rid of these ridiculous tools that I've had from the very beginning. So, pickaxe, stone shovel, stone axe, stone sword. I doubt that I'll need to ever bring my hoe with me, so I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to put my pickaxe first, my axe second, my sword third, and my shovel last. Now, the reason why I have these bowls in my inventory is simply just because... I finally got one of every single berry, and when you have one of every single... Well, one of three different types of berries. There are like five berries or something, but if you have three different types, you can combine them and make a much more powerful food source that I ran out of, so I can't exactly show it. So there are nine ingots left. You cannot yet make armor with this mod, though. Anyways, as you can see, I got very tired of not having any wood at all for the longest time, so I'm just going to mine down these trees because I, I really didn't have any wood for like the first two episodes, and it was just terrible. I think this episode we shall do some caving, because I need some caves. I need some caves. I need some ores. I need some, need some lots of stuff, and that's some lots of stuff that I don't really have. So that's why I'm going looking for it. Although I don't really have very much food, I should probably fix that. I also don't really have much armor either. However, I am going to go ahead and smelt this iron, because why not? I had iron, right? So this is a good example of what the casting basin is actually used for. 
Instead of having to pour them each out ingot by ingot, since I have nine ingots of bronze left in here, all I have to do is click on this little thing right here. It fills the whole entire thing up. It takes a while, but it fills the whole entire thing up. And then it turns into a block. And that's very good, which means you can just get bronze like that. Enderman! Come on, come on. I know you, I know you. I can kill you. I can kill you. Oh, holy crap, I just did 10 damage. Yes! And under Pearl, I am victorious. Look at this. I hear something walking and I don't like it. Look at this Ender Pearl. It's magnificent. So what can you do with an Ender Pearl again? Okay, now, if I can just remember where I was at last time when I was going in that little thingamajigger, then that would be amazing. But I can't remember. Oh, no, 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 I remember now. I, I remember because the lag made me remember, obviously. So I was going over here, and I was like, hmm, isn't the stuff over here? And then it was like, no. And then I went over here. I think it was right here, this little hole thingy. What is this? Vanilla plant. Seems not interesting. What is this? Looks green. This is appetite. I know that for a fact. I have a lot of this already. I don't even know I'm getting it anymore. What is this? Opal? It looks very rainbowy. I like it. So I'm going to get it. Probably doesn't have a very high blast rate. Yes, it does. It has 30. Okay, so I'm just going to go down here, and I am going to get 10. However, my food source is pretty bad, so I don't feel confident about going down here with all this food. Yes, I don't feel confident about going down here with, you know, all this food that I just have. So, this is important, though. This is a piece of crap. I should have made a bow. You can make bows in Tinker's Construct. Why didn't I make one of those? All right, Skeleton, I just chopped your head off. You don't have very much longer to live. I literally chopped off everything but the one thing that you could hit me with. I am so amazing. Okay. Those are iron ore berries. That is helpful. That is very helpful. My inventory is already overflowing, and I've been in here for like a half a second. That is not very comforting. I am, however, going to get more coal, because I require it. This is called Essence Ore. And this is very important because it's called S and Ore. Not only because of that, but because if you make... If you combine it with this weak infusion stone, which you do need a diamond, or an emerald, either one. I would prefer the emerald, but it's not exactly like I can just pull that out of thin air. I would like it that way. These crystals are kind of annoying. I want to know what they're used for. Oh. That. Yes! This is Mimichite, or Mimichite, however you want to say it. I don't know how you say it, but it is probably the cheapest thing in this whole game. Because, <clears throat> all right, are you, ready? are you ready for this? It can duplicate literally any material in the entire game. Well, not literally, but almost every material in the entire game. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cheap. If I if 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 I didn't know what cheap was, that would be the definition. If you look it up in the dictionary, that's just in there. So that's pretty cheap if you can't tell. It's not even pretty cheap. It's just it's just really cheap. It's just outright you can't even describe how cheap it is. If you put 8 of that in a crafting table with a diamond, it duplicates it. If you put 1 of it in a crafting table with an iron ingot, it duplicates it. It duplicates it. I do like, however, that these give you potion effects, these crystals. Maybe that's why you want to have them. Is that Ferris? Yes, that is Bueller or so. Ooh. I chopped your head off and you still freaking attack me. What is wrong with you, dude? New ore miner. I'm pretty sure I started mining new ores a long time ago, Industrial Craft. But I see gold, and that's 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 more of an inspiration to move anywhere than hearing things. Never mind, never mind. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Get your butt out of here. This is not safe for you or anybody. Granite? Since when does granite look like that? Ew. Of course you would be such a cheater. Of course you would cheat. Nobody hits me unless they cheat. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you over there to die. Hope you don't mind. Okay, seriously. How did you even hit me from all the way over there? Are you some sort of genius? Now, the interesting thing about Tinker's Construct is that you can actually add things onto your tools to sort of make them better. And what I mean by that is you do not only make them better, 
I thought that was a skeleton standing there. You can actually add modifiers to them. For example, if you go to that little tool table, you can actually put lapis lazuli on it. You just shot me three times. These guys cheat, I swear. Now my food source has almost ran out. All I have left is this apple. And then I'm gonna have to get out of here because my food source is gonna be yelloworium. I really don't need yelloworium. What the heck? What crystal just gave me night vision? That's really useful, even though it's going to run out in like half a second. I really wish I had some sort of diamond so that I could start growing ores, but nope. Don't have none of those diamonds, because I'm just so poor. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I should probably start getting into a quarry now. That's what I completely forgot about, is build craft. Okay. Now, a quarry, you can make... Quarry plus. What is that? What is a quarry plus? Does it go faster with less energy or something? I hope it does. Oh, no, you need dyes for this. Refinery plus. What is that? Okay, well, anyway, you do need diamonds for this, though. So I'm going to figure out how to get diamonds somehow in the future. Because quarries are freaking cheap as crap. I thought I saw a skeleton or something over there, but nope. Didn't see none of that. I did see a creeper, though, and that does not help me at all. Okay, well, it looks like my food source is running out, so I should probably get out of this cave before I die of thirst and hunger and death and doom. So I'm going to find a way out of here real quick. Oh, I see the lava that marks the way out. Or wait, I took that lava away. Oh, yeah, that's half the reason why I came into this cave, so I could get lava so that I could refuel my tinker thing. So I should probably do that, shouldn't I? There's a lot of copper in this deposit. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to nab this lava right up, if I can get back to it. I keep forgetting that that's a lot of the reason why I even came down here. Okay, now I really need to find a way out of here, because the only food source I have is this rotten flesh. And I doubt that's going to do me very much good now, is it? Also, do not question why my death point is different than before. You'll never know how that happened. I'm going to actually wait this time before I just go running out of the door in the morning to greet that angry zombie that's out there. I don't want to repeat of last time. Anyways, it just sort of occurred to me that uh, my house sort of sucks. You know, I mean, just a, just a little bit. Hey, horse, my house just sucks. S slight bit, you know, the door is made of dirt and the inside is just a hole inside of a mountain. I should probably fix that somehow, but I don't exactly know how I'm going to. That's the problem. That is most certainly a problem. Why am I lagging so much? Yeah, that is most certainly a problem that I don't know how I'm going to fix, but I need to fix it, so I guess I guess... I guess I guess I'm going to have to be some sort of inventor here and stuff. Oh, by the way, by the by, by the way, whatever you want to say, another reason, other than my AP classes, for my lack of uploads lately, this is a really nerdy reason that I probably shouldn't even be telling anybody, is because of my recent obsession with re-watching the old episodes of Invader Zim. I used to watch them when I was like nine, and then I found them on Amazon, and I was like, hey, I have Amazon Prime, why don't I just watch these? And then I started watching them, and then I just can't even stop anymore, because they're just so freaking awesome. Why didn't they... Ah. That show is so good. Why did they have to... Nick, 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 what is wrong with you? Why did you do that? Who cares if it's out of the age group? I don't care. Your revenue doesn't care. Who cares? Some of the, like, hundreds of parents, but, I mean, wh who are they? Now, the first step to making this house not look like utter crap is using this thing called a chisel. And it's a lot easier than it actually sounds. This is from the chisel mod. Yeah, it's called a chisel. You could probably guess that. But if you just put any sort of ordinary cobblestone or anything in here, as you can see, it creates all of these options that you can use. And I like these the best just because they're simple and they're awesome. And as you can see, it doesn't even use up any durability. This is probably one of the cheapest mods I've ever known. But I am going to at least edit the interior of my house, sort of. I can't even call this my house. This isn't even going to be my house. It's just some sort of temporary hole I live in, but why not make it look nice while I am living in it? There we go. That looks about right. The house is still relatively small, but does it look a whole heck of a lot? Why is there cobblestone in here? Why is it smelting cobblestone? I did not ask you to do that. 
This should do. There we go. Let's see how this looks. That actually looks pretty sincere, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm going to make it one shorter so that it can be parallel with the room. Parallel, I mean even on both sides. Why would that be parallel? Yes, this house is starting to look much nicer already. Except, there's two on this side and there's three on this side. I guess you can't really tell. But... I'm going to do this, just so that you really, really can't tell. There. Ugh, I'm gonna do this, so that you- oh wait, I can't even do that, because there's smelter brick right there. Ugh. Well, that's gonna bother me. But that's there. It's raining and it's lagging the crap out of me. I haven't installed Optifine yet, and that's something I should probably do. Why are all these berry bushes growing and I'm not even getting any berries from them? What is going on? Stop raining. Yeah, that, that definitely looks better than everything else did. So I don't know why I didn't just use that from the very start, and I wasted all my time carving out all that stuff that I didn't really need to carve out at all. I probably shouldn't have really done that in the first place. I'm really hoping I get more blueberries soon so I can actually get real food, but... Hello, how are you today? I need to hunt spiders so that I can get some sort of bed or something, because this is ridiculous. I have this ancient technique that whenever I say spider, when I kill a spider, it immediately gives me all of its string. So I'm going to go with that ancient technique of the ancients, and hopefully it actually works. However, the only spiders that I see are 50 miles away from me, so I don't feel like going all the way over there. Also, I'm only going 27 frames per second. I don't exactly feel like that's a good thing for you to watch, but I guess we're both going to have to deal with this. Ah, oh, I see a spider. 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 My ancient technique will work. I swear it. Spider. There's not even a spider over here. What the heck? It does not work on creepers, though. So I don't, I don't even attempt it. Spider. 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 Blah. See? I'm not doing that just to be annoying. It actually gets you string. It actually gets you string. It works. It's an ancient technique used by my 50th removed cousin. Also, apparently there are pigs in this bog the whole time. I didn't even know it. That's just awesome. Oh, that almost killed me. That literally almost killed me. That, 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 like, almost killed me. Okay, well, anyway, I got an extra raspberry bush that I'm definitely not planting right now. So, oh, yes, 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 yes. How much string do I have? Four. This is enough for a bed. Not, not four, but I can make three wool which combined with three wood can make a bed. I got my freaking bed from spiders. That's how freaking poor I am. So now it will stop raining. Stop raining. Stop it. Yes. I am magnificent. I can actually sleep now. This is just wonderful. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with any of this ore, but I will figure it out eventually, I swear it. Now, one of the cooler things about Tinker's Construct is that you can actually repair your tools. Now, I know you can repair your tools in vanilla, but it keeps all the modifiers and everything. You can repair them simply by just doing this. It repairs them all the way every single time, so that was kind of a waste because I was already halfway, you know, it was only halfway done. But who cares? I don't care. Hey, look at my little buddy. I should not be recording this. Bad things always happen when I record. Yes, I have bested you. I have bested you. However, by that mysterious victory that never ever happens when I'm recording, I suppose I'm going to have to end the video there because I am all out of time for today and the video is all out of time because it's probably going on about 23 minutes by now. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode and blah blah blah, so see you next time. So bye.